Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share the latest Vogue patterns with you. Everything I talk about today is available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and all the products I mentioned below. It'll all be in the description, so do check them out. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. And if you can't wait a whole week, do jump on and check out our social media accounts. We're in all the usual places and I've linked those below. So I've picked out my favourites from the latest Vogue range and then I've paired them with gorgeous dressmaking fabrics available on our site and you'll find the links to all of these in the description below. So let's get started with the first design which is Vogue 1890 which is a beautiful skirt pattern. It's got a contoured waistband, a uh, button down front, looks like you might actually need a zip with this one as well. So let me just check the closure, button closure, fly zipper. So you've got a fly zipper and a button closure on this one. So some good sewing skills to try out there. Um, it's got side front pockets, front and back unpressed pleats, a narrow hem and length variations, but it just looks like a really good classic skirt pattern that you could wear um, every day or dress it up and it would take you through the seasons as well. So definitely could wear it in autumn, winter with tights um, and then in spring, summer with bare legs and alternative fabrics. So yeah, it looks like a good wardrobe staple to me. One view is a nice midi length. The other view looks like it hits just around the knee or just below the knee um, and it looks quite nice and full the skirt does which I always like and I like the way they've styled it on the packet with a really fitted top and a belt there are belt loops around the waistband as well so you can you know give a really nice um, fit around the waist as well um, so the sizes run from a 6 to a 24 a 6 is a 30 well I won't tell you the bust measurements because you don't need those for a skirt do you but the th 6 is a 23 waist 30 32 and a half hip and a 24 is a 39 waist and a 48 hip and the fabrics it recommends are things like linens, uh, royal twills, broadcloth, chalet. Um, the fabric I chose for this one is this lovely crepe fabric which is a Lady McElroy. It's um, a Lena crepe and this is one of my favourites. I made a wrap skirt in this base cloth but a different design and I just love this design for autumn winter. It's like a lovely sort of French navy colour with a black um, very subtle animal print design across it and I think that the midi length version sewn up in this paired with a chunky black jumper and ankle boots would look fab for autumn winter but then like I say you can get a lot of mileage out of that pattern because you could make it in a completely different fabric a nice cotton fabric perhaps or linen for summer and um, get lots of wear out of it then as well so everything I'm talking about is linked below in the description the next pattern I want to share with you is Vogue 1884 and this is synonymous with Vogue's reputation for those wow factor dresses. I really wish I had somewhere to wear this because it is beautiful. Um, almost like Oscar de la Renta vibes for me, it really has got the wow factor. So if you've got somewhere special to go, I'm thinking party season isn't that far away. Um, this just looks oof, beautiful. So let's talk about it. Let's tell you some details. So it runs in a 6 to a 22, which I think is the same. Oh no, that was a 6 to a 24, the last one. So it's a 6 to a 22. Is a 22 is a 44 bust, 37 waist and 46 hip. And a 6 is a 30 and a half bust because I didn't mention that in the last one. Um, it has got cup sizes for A, B, C and D cups. So that's always brilliant because it enables you to get a much fit, better fit in the bust. Whereas you might have to do a small or a full bust adjustment if you didn't have the cup sizes. Patterns with cup sizes, you're already in the right sort of ballpark. Um, so that's great. Um, it's got a really close fitting bodice with princess seams a square neckline and relatively thick straps. Um, it's quite low at the back it looks and fastened with a zip. And then it's got this beautiful flared skirt with diagonal gathers under the waistline, side seam pockets, um, 
you suggest stitching the hem with horsehair braid for that real sort of wow factor volume and um, we do stock horsehair braid you'll find it on our site if you need it um, and you can do a contrast on the packet they've done the Oscar de la Renta inspired bright pink fuchsia pink which just like oh makes my heart sing it's so gorgeous but then they've also done a version with the black bodice and um, a monochrome print skirt so I think that shows you as well that actually you can make it super dressy and super special occasion or with a different fabric choice you could make it you know still fairly dressy and something you know you would feel dressed up in but not quite to those levels of that beautiful fuchsia pink version um, really excited about this one I just think it's beautiful and I picked our faux silk dupion fabric in this gorgeous fuchsia pink um, it's almost like a textured fabric it's a John Caldor um, it's just absolutely beautiful. I think we, we have got other colours in this. I think some of the colours have been discontinued. Um, but yeah, you could totally make the Oscar de la Renta inspired dress of dreams with this fabric. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's my choice for that one. Um, but party season, as I say, you might like a little black dress perhaps. Um, we probably do the faux silk dupion in black, but we've got other fabrics, plain fabrics in black that you could use as well for that. Um, and then the next pattern I wanted to share is Vogue 1883. This one runs in a 6 to a 22. Um, don't think this one comes, no, that doesn't come with cup sizes, but it's a really lovely design on this actually. So it's got a wrap crossover front that goes into a halter neck. Um, it's got front and back bodice pleats, um, which are just above the waistband. Um, it's got a waistband and then a flared skirt with side seam pockets and an invisible um, zipper at the back and it's like a high collar at the back um, which fastens with the hook and eye um, and then it looks like it's got some sort of gathers or something under the neckband at the back um, looks like fish darts on the back as well for shape at the back um, just absolutely beautiful once again just really love the bodice design of that dramatic crossed over um, wrap around the back sort of halter neck and that beautiful cutaway. I really love that cut um, on um, a sleeveless gown. I just think it's really it's a bit chic and beautiful. Um, so yeah, really gorgeous dress again. Um, the fabrics suggested on this one again are woven fabrics crepes satins rayons that sort of thing um, and again they've given you two quite different stylings on the packet one is a brightly colored uh, summery sort of floral fabric the other is a dramatic plain black fabric and the fabric i chose for this one is our hermione john caldor crepe which has got a floral print on it um, and a black background and I just thought that could work really really well for that shorter version one version's the sort of midi length and the other version's sort of just below the knee and I thought for winter this fabric could work really well sewn up into that shorter version I would be tempted to go for but it would go work well for the longer version as well the next pattern is another Vogue Beauty. It's 1879. Um, beautiful special occasion dress again with just seam lines to die for. Just all those classic beautiful chic Vogue details. Really love this one. This runs in a 6 to a 22 again so we've already been through those size details. Um, but it's a bias cut A-line dress close fitting through the bust thanks to the bust darts and darts that come out of the waist seam up to the bust um, but then the waist seam is actually a V and then you've got the simple A-line skirt so the cut is really simple on this one but it's just got interesting seam lines um, it's got a crew or sort of gentle round neck sleeveless and then at the back it comes down into a V um, and it's got like a band either side of the V and then um, the waist seam at the back is a V in that direction whereas on the front it's a V in that direction so just some really interesting beautiful design details 
Um, I definitely would want to make this up on a plain fabric to really show the, those details off. And it suggests Mikado, wool crepe, silk dupione. Um, so again, I would probably go with our faux silk dupion for this one. And again, party season, um, absolutely perfect for that. I know we're quite ahead of that time at the moment, but you know, actually that always creeps up on me and I'm always in a panic about what I'm going to wear. So why not get ahead of the game and have something beautiful made? Why not take your time um, and make it really high end, give it beautiful seam finishes um, and have that beautiful frock ready in your wardrobe, ready for this year's party season. So the next pattern I wanted to share is Vogue 1882. This it has got custom fit cup sizes again for an A, B, C and D cup. So great if you have issues with fitting around the bust. Um, it's a fit and flare dress. So it's very fitted around the bust. It's got princess seams, a V at the front and um, a seam that goes under the bust in like so. It sort of comes up in the center and under the bust like so. Um, it's got an interesting neckline. I don't quite know. Oh, what? Ha well, yeah, it's got a sort of a, it come, juts out, comes down into that V, and then there's a thin strap that attaches that front bodice to the back bodice. Um, and then on the back, you've got the princess seams again and a zipper, um, and it looks like it's cut fairly straight across at the back. Um, and then yeah that beautiful flared skirt two length options either the maxi length or just below the knee just again another beautifully cut just gorgeous dress I really love the Vogue designs they're just oh out of this world really and the version I thought would be nice for sort of this time of year and party season perhaps would be the shorter version sewn up in our Santa Cruz John Caldor um, satin fabric which he's just got this gorgeous bold design on a black background I thought that could work brilliantly for that dress and really have the wow factor and then finally the last one I wanted to show you was Vogue 1888 which is quite a casual in contrast to a lot of the other ones I've shown you quite a casual sort of pattern it's a top and a dress and it's all about the ruching and the gathers on this one so it has got it's loose fitting it's pull over so there's no fastenings no zips buttons that sort of thing it's got a low v neckline and vogue patterns tend to be low so if they're saying it's low it's gonna be low um, you can always alter that fairly easily of course but you might want to just try the pattern pieces or make a quick twirl just to check um, but it's got a very ruched bodice um, with bias neck and armhole facings, a dropped shoulder and then it's got these front ties which leave like a little a couple of little keyholes at the front where that deep V is. So although it's a deep V it does tie across um, the bus there so it's not entirely open, there is a tie there. Um, it's got an elasticated waist and yeah, length variations. So you've got the top version or the dress version. So you've got the top piece, which is covers the shoulders and it's like a drop sleeve. Then you've got the section that goes across the bust. Then you've got a section under the bust. Um, and then you've got like a peplum for the blouse version or a skirt for the dress version. I thought this looked like a great sort of holiday dress um, or blouse and the fabrics it suggests, a size is running a 6 to a 22 again and the fabric suggested a poplin, gauze, chalet, lightweight broadcloth, those sorts of things. I thought it would look really nice just made up in our navy double gauze fabric. Um, just nice and simple. Double gauze is a lovely textured fabric for those of you who don't know. I think this is a cotton double gauze, but all the details are on the website. I'll pop links to all the fabrics and the patterns below for you. Um, but yeah, I thought that would be a really nice, easy to wear, chuck on casual day dress for summer.
So I hope you've enjoyed that today. I certainly have. I just love drawing over all those gorgeous um, party frocks and special occasion dresses that Vogue are just so good at doing. Um, you'll find links to everything I've mentioned below in the description, patterns, fabrics, our website. So do jump on and check them out. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.